Hi everyone, my name is Dave Meister and today I wanted to talk about troubleshooting ODBC connectivity on Unix with PowerCenter. And uh, while there's a lot to this, we'll cover some of the basic things that, that seem to come up often in support. We will talk about variable, the correct values for the variables. We will talk about running SSG ODBC to verify connectivities outside of PowerCenter. We'll verify that the driver has all of the required dependencies, and we will talk about turning on tracing in odbc.ini. So the first thing that we need to check is making sure that all the variables are set correctly. Um, the, when PowerCenter is started, it will pick up the variable values from the operating system in the particular shell where you are, and it'll hold on to those. And so when you want to see what the values were when PowerCenter was started, there's a couple of easy ways to do it. You could run a, a workflow with a command task and then have it write have it write the output to a text file or you could maybe do a pre-session command on one of your session tasks. So what I've done is I've got a I have a, a workflow that runs a command task. And we'll just have a quick look at this guy. Um, the command it's going to run is just env pipe to sort and then redirect env dot out. Why sort? Because I like everything in alphabetical order and it'll make our lives a little bit easier there. So we'll go ahead and and start our workflow and it's running, which should be finishing here in a second. Oh, even sooner than I thought. So then we will we will look in Info Home, and and there's our env dot out. So we'll do Q and then vi env dot out. And what we what we can see is there are several instances of of the ODBC um, ODBC 6.1 directory. Now right here this variable is kind of ground zero for ODBC. This is ODBC home and all of the other things should be should be outgrowths of this of this particular directory. So we can see um, this server I'm using is a is a Linux server so I'm so LD library path is is a biggie for me and we can see in here ODBC slash lib uh, kind of kind of wraps around, but um, it actually has been written in here a, another time. O we so we see ODBC home slash lib, and then this server is also kind of an all-purpose server. At least the environment file is is all-purpose. So for lib path, we have it set, and then we will also go down and look at sh lib path. There it is again, right here, and then also in in path we can see that we have odbc home slash bin right there and again this is in here twice and then the other the fourth variable is for is to point to odbc dot ini so we have path odbc home odbc ini and the shared library path those are the four that we have to check and make sure that they're all correct So um, then the next thing we, w we can do is we can test connectivity with SSG ODBC. It's a nifty little tool that in 9.5.1 comes with PowerCenter. Otherwise, it's something that you'd have to download from Informatica. And you can use it for testing connectivity outside of PowerCenter just to make sure that, that everything, is, everything is happy there before even starting up PowerCenter. So let's go have a look at that. So we will cd to dollar odbc home, which is where I happen to have a, a copy of this, and we will do dot slash ssg odbc for Linux dash d d is going to be the connection name dm underscore sql dash p and then dash v for verbose. And here we are, we connected. And we can run simple queries. In this case, we'll do select star from underscore ID to, 
and then we can see here that this is a, a warning that the data direct drivers are branded exclusively for use with power center that's no problem and then here we have some we have some data that are returned now just to ver just to prove that these are the same data that we would see in sql server uh, we can run this query here and these are the same data dave and Wan young and so um, that's ODBC. That's SSG ODBC. Again, it's a neat little thing to have along, have around. So the next thing we're going to do is have a look at the at the drivers and make sure that all of the all of the dependencies are there. So we'll go back to here and let's exit out of this one, and then we're already in ODBC home. So we'll CD into lib, and we can see here that this is the driver that we were using. So we will do LDD on that driver, and lo and behold, all the dependencies are found. Now, if they weren't found, you could go and look and verify that all of the all of the variables that the different libraries were represented in the environment and make changes there, and then then try again with SSG ODBC. But LDD on the on the various libraries is a is a good thing to to know. So then the next thing that we will look at is uh, is we'll turn on tracing in the ODBC in the ODBC uh, INI file. And so what we'll do is do VI on dollar ODBC INI. And here, this trace value, we'll replace that with a one. And then we will go and we'll run a really quick workflow that will query from that ODBC source and and then write out to a write out to a text file and this will get this will uh, give us some this will give us our our logs for um, ODBC trace okay so that that finished so um, we can so we'll go to And so the info file, these, these two are the ones that were just generated. The info file is, doesn't have a lot of information, but it's there and you know might as well talk about it while, while we're in the neighborhood. So it doesn't have a whole lot. And then when we do VI on the ODBC trace one dot out, this is the one that has all of the details about the, about the ODBC about the ODBC activity. Um, going into the details here is more than the is is uh, kind of an anti is uh, an an adventure in and of itself. So we'll leave this here for now. But I just wanted to mention that this is available. So um, yeah, we just all we have to do is change that one that one value from zero to one, and and then it'll it will write. Then all the act, all the ODBC activity will will show up in the trace files. Here are some of the different some of the different uh, KB articles that I referenced in this. That if you go into the knowledge base and just put ODBC and variable or OD, SSG ODBC or ODBC and trace or LDD, um, you'll find a probably more information than you wanted. But it's there if you're it's there if you're interested. So I hope that this helps. I hope that this makes somebody's life a little bit easier. If you have any questions or concerns, here's where you can, here's where you can, can let us know. And other than that, I hope everybody has a really great day. Thanks. Bye.